In this problem, we have some similar solids, in this case, two cylinders that are similar, which means uh, although one is bigger than the other, they're bigger in, uh, it's bigger in the same proportion. So all of the sides are proportional to each other. We start with two measures, the measure of the diameter of each of these cylinders. We can use that to set up a ratio. So I could say the smaller cylinder is to the bigger cylinder as four is to seven. And so if I wanted to find another length, the height or some other length in here, I could use this ratio to do it and set up a proportion. Part C of this problem calls for exactly that. It says if the height of the cylinder on the left is 16, so right there, 16, what's the height of the cylinder on the right? So we'll set up a proportion like this. We've got the small cylinder on top big cylinder on bottom. So we'll put the small cylinder on top. This is the height here over on the right. We don't know the height of the big cylinder, so we'll put an x in there. And then we can solve this proportion by cross multiplying. So 4 times x is 4x. Um, let's see, 7 times 16 is 112. And we'll divide by 4. And we get x equals 28. So that is the height of this cylinder. The units are centimeters, just plain old centimeters, because this is just a, a distance, a length. So 28 centimeters. Now, this ratio that we began with, that's our starting point for the other parts of this problem. A, we have to figure out uh, surface area. B, we have to figure out volume. But we can't use it as it is. Area is units squared. So we take this ratio and we square it to get a new ratio. So our new ratio is going to be 4 squared, that's 16, over 7 squared, 49. That's the ratio we use for calculations of area. And part A says that the cylinder on the left has a surface area of 160. And we want to know the surface area of the cylinder on the right. So left on top, right on bottom. So this should work. We'll cross multiply again. 16 times x is 16x. And 160 times 49, I've got to pull out my calculator for that. So that is 7,840. And then we'll divide by 16 to solve for x. And I am getting 490. And this is centimeters squared because this is a measure of area. So this is 490 square centimeters. Now volume, which is our next part, is units cubed. So we start with our original ratio of 4 sevenths, but we need to cube it. So 4 cubed is 64, and 7 cubed is 343. So there is our ratio for volume. The problem says that the volume of the cylinder on the left is 128. So we'll put that on top. And we want the volume of the cylinder on the right. So we'll put an x down below. And again, cross multiply. So we get 64x equals whatever 343 times 128 is. And that's 43,000. 904, and then to solve for x, we just divide by 64. So dividing this by 64, we get a volume of 686, and this is centimeters cubed. So that is how to compute a side length, a surface area, and a volume for similar solids.